The following content may be unsuitable for certain viewers, particularly anyone with an IQ over 11. All right, all right! Yo, yo, yo! I'm in Toyo Live from Philly. It's the number one rated Polly and Tony Fusco show. Yo, yo, yo! As always, Polly Fusco here with Tony Fusco. And uh, on that note, we got great news about who's not here. Yeah. Yeah, Our producer oh, Jay. It's like a day off. Yeah, he told us he was going to some IT conference or something. Yeah, I wish it was an I die conference. He's going to hope that there's some like AI that maybe you know he can get finally get a girlfriend or something. Exactly, he's going to try and AI a girlfriend. Yeah, that's but what trust he's doing. Us, if AI knows better, AI would be like, no, thank you. Exactly. Next. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, on today's show, we're going to actually come to the defense of Caleb Williams. Yep, you know, you exactly. know, we've said some negative things about him in the past. Sure. Because, you know, all right, he wears fingernail polish and, you yeah. know, he uh, wears pink things and other things that men shouldn't do at all if yeah. they want to save themselves from total embarrassment. But, right. uh, to, you know, we got to defend them on something. Yeah, that this, is this is something totally different here. And also, you know, LeBron James in this Bronny James situation, you know, we got a solution. I can't believe nobody's seen. Anyway, you know what? He didn't even bother this. The J didn't leave in, He didn't leave any ad copy for us. Yeah, uh, so irresponsible. He just took off and he didn't make sure all his, you know, uh, ducks were sitting in the line before he left. Yeah. Well, anyway, he's gonna need the duck when I shoot at him when he gets back. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah. let's just get oh, into the show. Got him. Time for our top story. Wait, hold on. He's not. We got nobody to hit the button there. How do we do this thing? Top. Yeah, Somebody what's he doing? There. You just hit the top story. There's a guy back there. It looks like it. Just hit the thing that says top story. Top story. All right. Anyway, our top story. Caleb Williams. All reports say that he had a terrible practice with the Bears. Yup. And, uh, you know, Tony, he, we've been very critical of Caleb Williams. And rightfully obviously, so. Obviously, due to the nail polish, which yep. he did deserve. But yep. uh, the media these days, they just get so carried away. You know, all he did, he had one bad day. That's it, right, Tony? Yeah. Isn't everyone entitled to a bad day? I yeah. mean, that, that that just means that you're human. I mean, look at OJ. He had a bad day. Should that have marred his whole terrific playing career? That's a great point. You know, a lot of people, they say, oh, well, it was years, the trial and the suspicion and all that. No. That was all because of one bad day. Yeah, and not even a bad day. It was less than a bad day. Right, it was just, a, it was 10 minutes. Yeah, if hey, that. I mean, hey, look at a guy. Here's another example. Look at John Lennon, right? John exactly. Lennon gets shot in the head. Well, that was one bad day. Yeah, is it, are you going to throw just like, away yeah, his exactly. entire musical career just because yeah. of one bad day? Uh, what about the... You know, NASA and the Challenger. That was one bad day. One bad day. Right? Yep. Not e you know, yeah. You know, what are we going to throw away all space shuttles because of one bad one that went wrong? Exactly. It was not even, again, not even a bad day. It was like two minutes, bad two minutes. You know, you got to have perspective here, Tony. Yeah, That's the problem exactly. with people. They don't so have perspective anymore. They get so caught up. move on. Exactly. And just one boring. bad day. Yeah. All right, to the next story. I, you know, LeBron James, his son, Bronny James. Yep. You know, you may have heard of him. He sucks at yeah. basketball. You know, he's really he says he's going to stay in the sucks. draft even though he sucks. Yeah. And, you know, people, they're like, uh, well, why is he doing this? You know, he sucks. And, uh, well, you know, Tony, I, I was thinking the other day, isn't this just more of a poor decision by LeBron, you know, to Absolutely. have a kid and try to teach him basketball? Because, you know, if you have the kid, right, you got to teach the kid. First, you got to feed the kid. The kid's yeah. got to grow. Just that takes this. time. Yeah, all that stuff takes time, waste of money, all that. Then finally, they're there, and, and you don't know you, if they're going to be good at basketball. Totally suck. I, but you know, if LeBron Clearly, he just, sucks, and he sucks. But yeah. you know, if LeBron had just done the simple thing of you know you clone yourself, well, then first of all, the clone grows. You know, you got you got your instant clone right there, and then uh, you know you know he's going to be well at least okay at basketball. Mm -hmm. You know. But, you know, LeBron wasn't thinking about this. He really should have thought this through, shouldn't he? And, and it's not like we don't have the cloning technology. No. You know, you remember that movie with Michael Keaton, the, the terrific one? No, um, Mr. Uh, Mo Mr. Mom. Yeah, and he makes right. himself a mom. Right, and he's the mom and he's the dad. And then it's like, you know, that the blonde woman's there, that yeah. actress. Uh, 
what was her name? Lonnie Anderson. Yeah, she's Lonnie there. Anderson from uh, Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah, she's there and she's yep. like, hey, why are you cloning yourself to be the mom? Yeah, anyway. and he's like, I can oh, vacuum, I can do everything. Yeah, you know, that, this is what people don't understand about the human reproductive process. Okay? Yeah. It's not cloning people. No. You, you See, if you have that kid, well, that kid, you don't know, it's probably going to be a shittier version of everything you are. Yeah, I mean, exactly. just look at Luke Walton. You know, I hate to say it this week, but, yep, you tough. know, exactly. I mean, you know, one of the re Bill Walton, you know, great player. But I got to yep. say, as part of his legacy, fathering was exactly. not exactly is, you know, gr again, I don't want to be controversial. Don't no, no. Great no. basketball just player, great commentator, timing. human being. But when it came to fathering basketball players, yep. you know, he cloning it, and it's not out. It's it, we hey. You know, you could still do it, Tony. Bill Walton's DNA is still sitting right there. Still, still some, somewhat active. Yeah. LeBron, we all knew. We're like, oh, you know, seeing the kid at like three years old, like he's going to suck. You could tell. You could yeah, tell. You know, you knew right away. Like, oh, look at him. He sucks. Even though he has one of those like little like uh, Pee Wee Fisher Price basketball sets. He sucks, clearly. LeBron wasted his time, wasted everybody's time. Should have just cloned himself. Angel Hernandez. Let's move on here, right? Yeah. You see that uh, Angel Hernandez retired? Yeah, I saw that. You nice know, and call. I saw I saw some people out there. They have this take that this is actually bad for baseball because yep. you know he was such a terrible empire, 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 empire. Well, he was an empire. It was a reign. It was an empire of bad. Yeah, it was. It was a reign of terror exactly. for a lot of teams. So that's why that is not a mistake. That was on purpose. No. But, you know, I see people saying that. Uh, this is good for baseball because Angel Her Hernandez was such a shitty umpire. And I got to agree with them, Tony. I mean, you know, it makes the game. People think baseball is all about hitting, no. home runs, fielding. No, it's about the controversy. Yeah, it's about exactly. that manager. You know, you go to the game. Is this manager going to get thrown out? Yep. You know, that yep. tension. Exactly. Right? You know, hey, this pitch has got a perfect game going. Is the umpire going to blow a call and blow exactly. the perfect game? You know, that, you know, when you look at that one with the Armando Galarraga, whatever yeah. his name was, you know, people say that was ruined. I thought that was actually made it no, better. No, he made I history. Mean, yeah. Do, do, you, do we talk about other perfect games? No. Never. I can't even name one off the top I of my head. can't name one. No. Can't name one. No. But that one we talk about because. Exactly. Yeah. It was an imperfect game. Perfect yep. game. Exactly. That's what made it better. And now it's etched in our minds of history forever. Yeah, and you have that umpire yep. to thank. Exactly. You yeah. know, and then look at all the social media accounts. Terrible umpires and all this. They have their own accounts showing exactly. highlights. There's no account of great umpiring. Nobody cares. You know, great point, Tony. You know, when you think about Thank it, you. maybe all umpires should be bad. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. You know, like someone gets a hit and then you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait just a second. Exactly. We don't know. Exactly. That, wait, was it foul? Was out? it fair? I don't know. Whatever. Don't know. Just make it fair. Yeah. You know, and then even if it goes, if it's a foul ball, they call it a home run. That makes the game more unpredictable and exciting. So true. Yep. There you go, Rob Manfred. Free advice. You know, that is the for problem, you. Tony, is that people, they want things to be streamlined, like everything to go as planned. Yep. That's not what sports are about. No, yeah, you kidding me? Unexpected. Everyone knows that. The unexpected, you know, a pitcher throws a 98 mile per hour fastball, you know, straight over the plate. You know, if that's that, a strike all the time, well, that's that's boring. It's boring. It's the same thing over and over. You know, why do people, why does racing have such a cult following for the crashes? You know, exactly. I, I turned it on. I'm like, oh, my God, 40 laps. How can anyone watch this? Then it was like, boom. I'm like, oh, there we go. You know, Tony, there we I go. got to admit something on air. It's very, very kind of embarrassing. But, you know, we're honest with our audience. Yeah, we I got to keep it real here, people. I didn't know who Dale Earnhardt was until he died. That same. I'm like, who you know, is this guy? It's tragic. I'd never heard he? of him once. Never heard of him once. Then I turn on CNN and I see this whole thing. I'm like, is this somebody I should know about? Yeah. And there then, you go. And again, you apologies. Go. You know, I guess he was had a big career, but I did not know about it. Yeah, Tony. exactly. I turned on, you know, the Indy 500. I said, oh, are you kidding me? I'm not wasting my time. Then lap one, boom, accident. I said, oh, OK. And I watched another lap before I turned it off. Yeah, yeah, that, was, that kept you glued. Exactly, exactly. Otherwise, I would have just kept flipping. Yep. See, that's what we need. More bad calls, more controversy, and more ratings. 
There you By go. By the way, talking about ratings. Yeah. Did you see uh, Jim Rome the other day on X? He was on this that X platform, Twitter. No. And he got like, you know, he had uh, millions of viewers on wow. there. Wow. Uh, you Terrific. know, I'm just thinking this is so great that uh, this Elon Musk guy is bringing back these sportscasters. You oh, know? that would be great. You know, you got Jim Rome back. Well, you know, why not bring uh, George Michael, George Michael Sports Machine back? Oh, the best ever. You kidding me? Sunday nights and he had that big machine and he'd be like, let's go out yeah. to the veteran field. Boom. Wouldn't that and then be great? You turn, on, you turn on Twitter, it's it's Jim Rome, then George Michael Sports Machine, and then uh, you have uh, Up Close with Roy Firestone. That's yeah. how you finish it off. And what about the our favorite show growing up, The Reporters. Oh, right. That yes, would be the, unbelievable. The I never understood why they got rid of that show. I love the, the sports report. I mean, you do remember there was nothing better than, you know, after a game seven, how like five days later you'd oh. sit down and you'd get to hear what they thought after they'd processed all the thoughts. Oh. You know, though, what I love is like, you know, these shows these days they have these big sets and whatnot that was so great it was just like they got four four chairs from like a rooms to go remember and they just like put them as close as possible oh i mean it was gripping television you know i no you know i was always tuning in every week you know to see what what column mitch album was working on for that week you know like i you know is he gonna write about the padres this week is he gonna write about the salary cap exactly you know, I wonder what Mike Lupica is going to say about the 1978 Knicks that, you know, came up short. Anyway, usually here we'd, uh, you know, throw to a guest. Yeah. But our loser producer didn't even bother to book one. Although, you know, we should probably thank him for that, you know? Exactly. In fact, probably should just thank him for not being here. Made the show totally better. We don't have producer Jay interrupting us. He's probably uh, sleeping with his fake girlfriend right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's probably knee deep in AI right now. Yeah, with his hand. Anyway, we'll reveal our contest winner next week. All that. Uh, let's just wrap it in. Yup. It might have been our most flawless show yet because of no producer Jay. Exactly. Well, that's the show for today. We'll yep. see you later. See ya.